It seems everywhere I go in Tasmania, I find more beady photos to recreate. This one of Mount Roland just appeared in front of me on my way to my sister-in-law's place. G'day and welcome to Forgotten Tasmania. I'm John Stevenson. Mr Beatty was such a prolific photographer, they say that he photographed much of Tasmania. That would be pretty impressive if you did that today, and it's even more impressive when you think that Mr Beatty lived over 100 years ago. I did this particular episode backwards. Usually I restore the photo and then try and find where it was taken from, and then we do some research and produce another episode from that. But with this one, the spot appeared right in front of me as I was driving, and I thought, right, I've got to recreate that first. Then I went back and restored the photo, and so it's a little bit backwards. My incredible wife, Katrina, broke her hand, so I'm playing chauffeur. Katrina had to go to Kentish Council in Sheffield, in the north of the state. That's a four hour drive from our place, and the meeting was in the evening. While the rest of us binge Netflix, council members go to work in what's usually their second job, working for their community. The meeting didn't finish until 8, and that's too late to start the trip home, so we'd arranged to stay with Katrina's sister. I'm not giving you the GPS coordinates, but her address is Shortcut Road Paradise. How very Tasmanian. And yes, their farm does live up to the name, it really is paradise. Of course, we've been there many times before, and as I drove around this corner, there it was. Number 1715, Mount Rowland, from the Beatty Collection. I just had to stop and recreate the photo, but I only had my iPhone, and they say the best camera is the one you have with you, so that's what I used. Of course, the day you leave all your camera gear at home, you find a nice spot to recreate a beady photo. This one was easy to spot. It was even labelled as a uh, photographic spot. So I parked up here at the uh, lookout to Mount Rowland and found the spot in just a matter of seconds. Have a look behind me. There's, uh, there's the corner and there's Mount Rowland. It was a nice easy spot to find for once. I cheat and take a series of shots across the scene. I'll stitch them together later to create a really high resolution panorama. Back home and I start restoring the original photo. There are two negatives in the collection. The first's a bit badly exposed, but the second one's pretty good. After photographing the negative with my digitising camera, I reverse it to make a positive, adjust the contrast and tone, and the photo comes up nicely. I reckon my pop took this one, as the film is a later type than Mr Beattie would have had available to him. Pop loved to tour Tasmania, and he took plenty of photos. That's why the collection is as big as it is. Now I have to research the area and see what stories I can find. Maybe I'll even climb Mount Rowland. I hope you like my recreation of this one. If you enjoyed the episode, please hit the like button, please subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Thanks.